happy Saturday night. I'm gonna do a very, very simple makeup look for you guys for the first time in so long. So I wanted to say hello properly. I am gonna put some primer on first. I clean off my face. The whole, I like scrubbed it <laughs> so that I could do this face. My skin has been so dry and I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup because I have been in the bed a lot. My health has been super rough lately. Both of my baby cousins that are not babies anymore graduated from college and high school the past couple of weeks. So I went to a graduation party today and I also today my brother turned 35. So I hung out with him a little. It was a good day. Um, I haven't been super, super dizzy today, but lately I have. Yesterday I went out to check the mail and I had to sit down in the driveway for about 10 minutes because the ground was moving <laughs> and that shouldn't be happening. So I talked to my doctor about all of it this week though and she's gonna have me tested for MS. Um, it's just another autoimmune disease and um, we'll go from there. I have an MRI on Wednesday morning. So yeah, super fun. Um, I have had so many doctor's appointments and medical things in the past three, four years that I definitely have no idea how many times I've been um, met the doctor all the time. Got a little foundation brush, little kabuki brush here. But I hope everyone's doing great. I just have been really off the map and I want to come back and talk to you guys because that was always a good therapy for me. Just kind of tapping that in. And I feel like I just went into this deep hole of depression for a while. Um, and it takes me a minute to get out of that sometimes. I'm still trying to climb out. There we go, some concealer. And then I'm going to use my Air Glow Foundation. As you can see, I am beyond the pale. I'm going to brush them a little bit and I really need to pluck them <laughs> a little bit so I want to make sure I keep that arch and then I'm gonna color in a little bit color upward just flick And then I'll just kind of fade it out right through there. Take my pinky and rub it in. That's how I do my brows usually. Oh, my vision's trying to get blurry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rude. There we go. So my brows. Would you look at that? I got A brows. I got A brows. Now I wish I knew <laughs> where my tweezers were. I have so many pairs of tweezers. Yeah, I don't know where they are. So now we have brows. And we have foundation and concealer. What I typically do next is contouring, which <clears throat> I'm almost out of, so I've been dipping my brush in it, which is just as useful and productive. Only to like the end of my eye right here, and then around my forehead. I know this looks like a lot, but it's really not a thick layer, so. Also, like I said, beyond the pale, but I do like to contour, so we're gonna do it. The whitest, <laughs> brightest part of my nose, I'm not gonna do, but I'm gonna do across, and then I'm gonna do up and down the bridge on the other side. On a circular motion, upward, and then kind of just work that in. Okay, so I'm gonna blend my nose with a smaller brush. I have broken the tip of this, so I'm just going to dab it in with my fingers. I like to do the inner corner of my eyes because it makes them pop. See? 
see how fun that is just to have a little bit of shimmer i'm gonna use my mirage palette it's a really neutral palette super simple to use very gorgeous just like a nude nude base palette so i'm gonna go in with the lightest shade I'm working this into my crease a little bit and then kind of fanning it upward and across because like i said this is not going to be like a bold bold look so we're going to go on my lid halfway to the middle i'm going to use one darker shade just for right here on the corner on both sides just so it looks like I put in more than minimal effort, even though I didn't. And then we'll just blend this out with this fluffy brush. Now, the way I clean this up <laughs> is super easy. I have a concealer brush. It's just a little flat, you know, flat wide brush that I've got that's by Real Techniques because most of mine are. But I'm going to put some concealer on the end of it. Just a thin layer. Nothing crazy. But, if you see, and if you have fallout, just swarp it. Swarp it. I'm going to take this. I'm going to follow my line. Outward. And then I'll pull it down. And with my foundation brush, I will blend that in. Don't touch the line, obviously. But... That's how I clean up my eyeshadow. Super easy. Nothing nuts. You know what I was thinking the other night? I just want to watch the Lizzie McGuire movie so bad. I think I'm going to do that. But I have to finish Bridgerton because I'm only at the end of season two still. I have such a hard time finishing shows. I actually got into this one. I like I'm having trouble breathing right now because I'm panicking. I don't even know why I'm panicking. It makes no sense. It's fine. I need you guys closer, but I don't want my phone to fall because I really have this very specific situation set up. My holder for my phone on my ring light is kind of broken. So I have you guys sat up on like three boxes, some skincare product, and a cup. All stacked on top of each other. Because I'm good at finagling. You ever just do your eyeliner and you're like, it keeps getting thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. And you're like, mm -hmm. yeah. That would be me. That's good enough. I don't know if they're even. It's fine. I'm really not worried about it. But, but I am going to put on some mascara pro tip <laughs> if you struggle with eyeliner which a lot of people do and i do what i'll do is i'll grab a little brush i'll grab some really dark or black eyeshadow and i will just blend that out from my eyeliner line And then you can't really tell because it's so dark right there but that happens to me a lot like i will get my eyeliner so thick and it will just look goofy and wonky and i have hooded eyes and so it gets where it looks funny there we go but yeah that just kind of like fixes the whole situation not a big deal i do have something very exciting to show you because I've been meaning to do this for a little while. I've been very, very sick. So, Formless Beauty sent me the prettiest lip gloss. So cute, the packaging. They sent me this little letter. So sweet. Guys, thank you so much. I love this lip gloss. It's called Manifest. Of course, it's cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan, all the good things that we love. But, I don't know if you can see the pink sparkles in the lip gloss. Let me put some lip liner on. Let's put on this lip gloss. Mm 
That is so shimmery and shiny and beautiful. It's not sticky. It's very smooth. It feels comfortable. It's not getting on my nerves, which is a good thing because most lip glosses get on my nerves so bad. I have such bad sensory problems, but I like this one. It's very light and airy. I like it a lot. So let's put on lashes. Which one of my kids is going outside right now? It's like 10 o'clock. What in the world? Okay. I have scissors. Drop them down in this cup again. I cut off like the first part of the lash because... They always, I never use that part. And it's always like coming off on the other corner of my eye. And I hate it. So, cutting that off now. <laughs> Not a vibe. And then I'm going to put on some lash glue. Got some pharmacy lash glue here that I'm using. I don't know about you guys, but my seasonal allergies have been so bad. And I, I have been forgetting to take my allergy meds a little bit. Which doesn't help. Because ever since we um, adopted pets in... December for the kids. My allergies are crazy. And I knew, like, I was allergic, but I, they begged and begged for so many years. And so, I was like, okay, all right, let's do it. And I thought it might, you know, help everyone's mood. Anything furry helps people's mood. It, it's just a good thing to have around this fur you know, with an animal attached to it. I'm gonna let these dry a little, just get tacky, you know. These are the various little lashes though, they're so pretty. Got them off the TikTok shop, super fun. Now, why do I feel like I have to hold my breath when I do this? <laughs> Make sure you get it on the eyeliner so you don't have to redo it. Ooh, yes! See the difference? Don't you love that? I love that. Okay. Oh my lord. I cannot. Okay. I cannot with my own self. I just, I can't deal with myself. <laughs> Those are so pretty. And I love that I don't have to worry about the inner corner coming up. It gets on my nerves every time. So that is why I cut off the inner corner. <laughs> this gloss is beautiful. I love it. Now let's do a wig. Let's do a wig. So my hair. <laughs> so I got it done recently for the first time in uh, a couple years, I think. She did such a great job with the color and she did a little cut for me. Because my hair, I had a lot of split ends. But I haven't fixed it today. This is very pretty. But it does not have a lace front. So I don't know how I'm going to like it. Or if I'm not going to like it. We'll see. So what I do with these wigs is I take the clip that's on this side and put it to the one, the little loop that's all the way on the other side. Do the same thing, crisscross them. So that it will be tighter around my head. My wig thing is over there, so I'm just going to leave it off. Oh my lord. So, I'm going to just keep all this in my hand. Pull a piece from the back, I think. And then hold it for the back this time. Do the tie. See what I did there? See what I did there? It's actually kind of pretty now. It doesn't look goofy. It's not falling in my face. It's a little curly. Little waves. I actually kind of love it. So if you want to wear wigs, but you're like, oh, they're too expensive. Buy a little $6 wig, girl. They're pretty. They're pretty. And if you're self-conscious because you've lost more than half your hair in the past couple of years because of immunosuppressant treatments, going to the cancer center. I don't have cancer. I have um, autoimmune diseases, not terminal, just chronic. But 
going to the cancer center and getting my infusions and taking medicine every day and losing all the weight that I've lost has taken a real toll on my hair. So I do enjoy a little wig or two. <laughs> you guys know I have a lot of wigs, but um, they're just pretty and they make, they make my confidence boost. And I get so many compliments and people are like, oh, I had no idea that was a wig. Cause you know me, I'm honest about it. I'm just like, oh yeah, the wig. <laughs> but um, like you don't have to say anything. You don't owe anybody an explanation for wearing a wig. You don't. So if you like them, wear them. They're beautiful. They're fun. You can change your personality. You can change whatever you want to change. I have pink wigs. I have a purple wig. I have a blue wig. I have a blonde wig. I have a black wig. It's just fun, guys. So I'm really glad I came on. Uh, if you want to talk, you want to chat, reach out, as always. I'm still here. I've just been under the radar. I've been really sick. So I wanted to hop back on. I am going to do my very best to continue making videos again. So I'm excited about that. I've been talking about it for a while. So <laughs> I'm glad I actually am on here doing this. I'm still making those little bags. These little necklace pouches. If you guys want one, um, pre-orders are available. I do have some made already, but I usually if people message me, I just say, hey, which like what color would you like? And I'll go ahead and make it. So yeah, I love you guys so much.